like locked in using that pin and let's get the new one on and put everything back together hey everyone today we are working on my 2013 honda accord this thing has a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine with the automatic transmission my issue with this car as you have read by the title that timing chain tensioner is weak the mileage on this car is 350,000 kilometers. So every time when I start it early in the morning where it has sat overnight, there's a rattle, a tapping noise for a second or two that's there. And now it seems to be getting a bit longer and it's more frequent. So the issue with that is the timing chain tensioner is not able to hold on to the oil because of age and we just have to replace it put the new one in where it can keep the tension on the chain much better and it will not make any noise so first thing we have to do is get the wheel off on the passenger side uh, put on a jack stand and then we can go from there here we are on the passenger side i've gotten the wheel off and we're going to be looking at this cover right here so this pin that you can see, mine's broken, the head is broken off of it. It's just the actual centerpiece that goes through it. This has to come up, and the other one is on it there. That still has the head on it. And we can see in the back that this is the cover, and mine is leaking pretty good. This was a previous oil leak that I have repaired, but I just never got around to looking at it at the bottom, and I guess this is the low point, and it's covered in oil. So I can clean that up later, but that's the cover. And we gotta get this tab and this tab out. me pop this one out and this one here underneath uh, you have to actually pull this out in the center it's and then you can actually take it down so then you have room now to access your timing chain tensioner right there so let's open it up it's uh, 716. This was the plug that was up here and the head was broken off so this came out nice and easy As you can see this should be spread open. So this is already broken This is the one that I took out that was down here up underneath Was not fun to get at it. I did all this actually as you guys can see So you have to pull this out and then the actual claw here at the end Will be able to collapse and then you can actually pull it out and this here you can kind of just pull it down out of the way right there you can see you have the three bolts 10 mil and let's take that out now you just want to pick at the sides here with a screwdriver a flathead Kind of like this and just kind of pull it up try not to bend it it's just silicone that's holding it all around Now we have to turn the engine counterclockwise 90 degrees or till the actual this arm here swings over to this little pin hole that you guys can see and then we're gonna have to try to catch it. So let's turn it back to the left. 
So there you go, guys. The pinhole and the actual arm has swung back, and we can just try to catch it now with anything that you guys might have. So guys, I found this little Allen key that I'm gonna use and try to hold that tensioner down so we can remove it. Like that. And now we can carefully take those two bolts out holding the tensioner. So guys, carefully lift the tensioner out of there. Oh. So here is the old tensioner. And what is the shield behind it? So here we have the old tensioner to the left. We use this uh, Allen key to get it to compress. And what pretty much happens is this arm swings back as it comes down and then the hole lines up. You can put this through. Here we have the new one. Already has the pin inside of it. And one thing that I noticed when I was watching the videos compared to what I have here, I do not actually have a screen on the back. So I don't know if this car here didn't, doesn't have it or someone forgot to put it on and this tensioner has been replaced before. So that's kind of scary. I might have to do this job over again. So anyways, I'm already here, so now I have to put everything back together. So we have the new one here. Let's get this in the car. Here we have the old one to the left and the new one to the right. Both caged or as in like locked in using that pin. And let's get the new one on and put everything back together. So guys, we need to take a flathead screwdriver and lift it in that little gap and use that little lever and kind of push it up so the holes line up for the bolts. So I think I can see the bottom one kind of lined up. Let's try to get the top one first.
Okay guys, the torque for all the bolts, the cover and the actual tensioner is um, nine foot pounds. So it is pretty much tight. So I can actually pull this out and you guys will see it pop up. Let's pull it out from here so you guys can actually see. I think that's pretty much it. It's already got the tension on there. Torque everything and that'll be it. Next we'll just clean up all this glue here on the sides. Wipe it down, even behind there. And then just cover everything back up. Okay guys, I got my torque wrench set to nine foot pounds. So let's just torque this. Not a lot of torque at all. Let's make sure you clean everything up for this gasket right here. A lot of old silicone, as you guys can see. So make sure you guys clean the threads. Here's the old cover guys. This is the old cover and all the silicone that's stuck on there. So we have to remove all this. Clean it up nice and uh, dry. And then we can run a bead of silicone all around and put it back together. Here's the cover. I uh, made this nice bead, not too much. And I'm using this uh, Permatex Black gasket maker. So we'll put this cover back on with three bolts. If you guys want to torque it, it's nine foot pounds. I'm just gonna hand tighten it or torque it. I have everything, it's okay. But the main thing is to torque the actual tensioner. Let's get everything back together. So guys, that's pretty much it. Now you can put the cover back on, put your wheel back on, and then... So guys, it is the next day. Please remember the first time you do the repair and you start the car for the first time, you're gonna have that rattle just like you did before because there's no oil in the actual tensioner. So it is the next day and I'm gonna show you guys after doing the repair and this is a cold start. So it should be a lot better. Here we go. So as you guys can see, it sounds much better. There's absolutely no rattle. And if you guys uh, like this video, if you have any questions, please comment down below and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.